Welcome to the world of multiplication tables. Hello everyone. Today I am going to talk to you about multiplication. What is multiplication? Hmm. Let's see if we can work it out in a simple way. Multiplication means repeated addition. Let's take 2 multiplied by 3 which means we need to add number 2 3 times. Let's say there were 3 girls who wanted to eat 2 ice creams each but they did not know how many to buy in total. We can solve this problem with multiplication. So one girl wants two ice creams and there are three girls in total. So how many ice creams do we want in all? Two plus two plus two which is six. We can also say three multiplied by two equals six. You see how multiplication is like repeated addition? And remember in multiplication, the numbers can be interchanged, but the answer will still remain the same. For example, 2 multiplied by 3 is the same as 3 multiplied by 2. Let's do another example. What is 4 multiplied by 5 equal to? As we did before, 4 multiplied by 5 means add the number 4 five times. Let's say Nina, David, Sam and Rose are four friends. They decided to collect five planks of wood each to make a tree house. But they were not too sure how many planks would they end up getting in total. Let's help them out by using multiplication. Now there are four friends and each is bringing five planks of wood. So, how many planks do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Or 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5. Phew! They would have 20 planks in total. I wonder if that's enough to build a tree house though. So anyways, 4 multiplied by 5 is equal to 20. Now friends, these were smaller numbers. Wasn't it easier to add the ice creams as compared to the planks? Imagine if we had to multiply 8 into 9 or 15 into 12. Our day would turn to night just counting. That is why we use multiplication tables. Multiplication is a fast way of adding a series of numbers. Let's learn them with tips, tricks and loads of fun. Let's learn our zeros table. In the zeros table, whatever we multiply by zero, the answer will always be zero. Now that's how easy multiplication tables can be. Zero into six is equal to zero and zero into 540 is also equal to zero. Isn't that cool? Let's see if you have got it. What is 0 into 6 equal to? 0, exactly. And 0 into 10? The same answer, 0.